I don't really have a problem with him getting fired. You don't? No, I, I have zero problem with him getting fired at this point in the season. Uh... I'd rather know sooner than later. I wouldn't want to be dead man walking for a month. <laughs> Let me go. John Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Let, <laughs> Let me go. And I don't think this is disrespectful. He's going to get all of his money. Uh, you know, and now he gets to start his next job hunt a month earlier. Man, this is Captain Scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> this dude got <sighs> respect. Respect that you can run your business the way you want to. We all know that the organization has went through a restructuring in the last year or so, so the balance of power upstairs has changed. And we all know when the new sheriff's in town, a lot of times they want to implement their new way and their new laws. Respect to that. But then you got to respect who you're talking about. As much as we give respect to one Aaron Rodgers for his greatness, being the most talented quarterback in today's NFL, can we start respecting the coaches in the same measure, when you talk about Mike McCarthy, look at these numbers in the terms of accomplishment. 13 seasons, nine playoff appearances, four NFC Championship games, a Super Bowl champion, and only three losing seasons. And you see that losing season, you might start to think, oh, my God, what, 2-14? and 14? No. Uh, this year, 6-10 uh, and 10 and 7-9. and nine. This is a coach that got fired midseason. That's only happened once. In NFL history, did somebody have the audacity to fire a Super Bowl winning coach in the middle of the season? This is blatant disrespect laced with some BS of, oh, I want him to get out there and get a head start on the coaching hunt. Oh, we can get time now to not make him a lame duck and get ahead in terms of our process when we all know that all it takes is an executive search and your agent to go out there and smell around what's good for you. Do not wrap it and lace it like you're doing him a favor by letting him go early, because all those things could be handled now or after the season. This is blatant disrespect. I mean, I think it was tough, because Mike McCarthy, to me, is a really good coach. <clears throat> the same breath we talk about Aaron Rodgers being great, how did he become great? Thank you. Somebody had to help him get there. And so I think some of the things Mike McCarthy was doing offensively was a little stale, a little stagnant. And so if he wasn't able to change his approach offensively, then I think a new voice needed to be heard. You, we all have heard kind of the rumblings in that building about the Mike McCarthy and the Aaron Rodgers relationship. Aaron's not going anywhere. Somebody had to go. I felt like they probably should have waited till after the season because that man earned, earned the right to wait till after the season. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> It doesn't bother me one way or the other. He was going to be fired. And so, if you're going to do it, why not go ahead and do it? Yeah, well, the only way it wouldn't bother me is if Mike McCarthy said, hey, you know, if you guys want to let me go, let me go, which mm -hmm. I don't think that's the case. That's mm -hmm. what I heard. Uh, so, so, yeah, I have a problem with it, for sure. I don't see why you would let him go in the middle of the season. This guy's pedigree, what he's done for that organization, it's ridiculous. He talked about Aaron Rodgers, though, not, not being creative. That, that was been the big talk. Yeah. Like Nagy, I guess, with Trubisky. You look at golf with McVay. You look at uh, Drew Brees, Andy Reid. They're coming with these creative offenses. Uh, I don't believe that here. I don't know. I wasn't inside the meeting rooms. I, first of all, he didn't. His Randall Cobb was hurt. Uh, who? Else? Geronimo was out. He's got rookies, St. John and and yep. the, the Marcus Valdez guys, rookies that are dropping balls. Uh, so so the talent wasn't there. So they're not going to be as successful. But also to Aaron Rodgers' style of play. Of all the great – he's one of the greatest quarterbacks. Some people call him the GOAT. Of all the quarterbacks, would I want to play with a guy like that? No. Because he is not even on my top ten to play with. Not because he doesn't have the ability. It's because, first of all, he doesn't throw the ball to the tight end that much. Yeah, hell uh, <laughs> Jimmy Graham, where's you? Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Nobody. I think Nobody. most tight ends ever caught a ball with 60. But I think <laughs> – but I think that Aaron Rodgers is a big play home run hitter I don't know if he has the patience to do what Tom Brady, what Peyton would do, where they can throw those five-yard outs. Drew wants to go deep because he has that all that incredible ability. He's probably the most talented quarterback ever. Uh, I just don't know. Yep. I'm, I'm anxious to see what happens now. The grass isn't always greener on the other side for Aaron Rodgers. I can't wait to see what happens now. Yeah. I'm going to say this in all seriousness. If I'm Mike McCarthy and I have the first December in the last 12 years, 15 years, I don't know how long he's been coaching where I can actually be with my family for the holidays. I, again, I say this in yeah, seriousness. Uh, I'm not... I, 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 I'm not well, that's a great opportunity. Well, if you it, want that. It's opportunity cost as well. You ain't got to embarrass me so I can go home for the holidays and have some spam <laughs> with You're going to be embarrassed. Look, 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 spam ain't that, that good. Look, I as be. much money as he made, trust me, he ain't eating spam. Yeah. But here's yeah. the thing. Y'all like spam no more? Y'all got bougie. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Man, here's the problem. Aaron Rodgers won a game in Buffalo, well, against Buffalo, 
and then criticized Coach. This is where it all started. He went out there and said, something going on with the play calling and, and the way that this is handling. You, Mike McCarthy, you all know who he is. Y'all been to Green Bay lately? I've been to Green Bay. There is a actual street, an oh, yeah. actual street named Mike McCarthy Way. And then they're going to do this to this guy when he has this already set up. Give him game. all of December to Christmas shop and be with his family, make his wife. Look at that. Look at that. Kids. I think his wife yeah. is right there. Hey, yeah. Miss McCarthy, how you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Whether, whether McCarthy's there or not, Look how personnel you did needs to get a little better around Aaron Rodgers. I think they put so much money in him, you can't get the guys let's, around him as good. Let's flip to Aaron Rodgers. After the news broke, our buddy Terry Bradshaw put the blame for McCarthy's firing on Aaron Rodgers' shoulders. Take a listen. This is Aaron Rodgers' 35th birthday today. Yeah, it is. That's right. So, uh, happy birthday, Aaron. You got, uh, you're 35 and your coach is fired. So, got to make you happy, I guess. Mm. Mm. I do think Shot this, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think this is a ding on Aaron Rodgers' legacy. I think when you look at uh, uh, Brady over there and his long, t- damn near 20-year relationship yeah. with Bill Belichick, I think this happening with Mike McCarthy legitimizes people who question uh, Aaron uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers' personality. Oh, certainly this is going to be attached to him. I mean, there are other greats who have that coach killer moniker uh, associated with their resume. Whether LeBron it's, James. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. LeBron yeah. James. <laughs> How about this? Magic Johnson. Like, you know, they're, they're, mm-hmm. they, Magic Johnson smoked the coach too before. Uh. And, and here's the thing. Aaron Rodgers, I think he's going to be even in a worse position because the way that he's doing it and the way he's done it has not done has not been done in failure, but in success. Like Mike McCarthy is a successful coach, is a winning coach, is a coach that has done great things and has given the championship to you and this organization, Aaron Rodgers. And for him to be the guy that is the reason a personality difference has really been the root of this issue, more so than I think hiding behind the play calling, and the philosophy on offense. Yeah, I, you know, the grass isn't always green on the other side, like you you know, like you know, said. I think Aaron is going to be – he's going to be in for a rude awakening hmm. because depending what coach comes in there, he might not get along with him because yeah. Aaron is a superstar, a superstar. When you're a superstar like that, you act a little different, hmm. and, and, and you can tell he acts a little different. And so depending on what coach gets with him, if it's not a young, like-minded coach – it's been reports that it's it could be, be Jim Harbaugh. You imagine Jim Harbaugh? <laughs> <laughs> I heard uh, Josh McDaniels, too. Oh, that no. makes sense. Somebody that he could respect or whatever. Mm. Too, makes mm. sense. Does mm. it hurt his legacy? Yeah, I think so, for sure. But well, only time will tell. Can't Because he has to make it work for the guy. And I think he can. I mean, I love I – mean, he's a Cal Berkeley. We both went to Cal. I love Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but there are some things that – you talked about not being surrounded with talent. And the guys go down. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't like to make an issue of money. But when you take that monster contract, mm-hmm. and this is the difference between him and Tom Brady, when you take a monster contract, you better cross your fingers that nobody gets hurt because your backups aren't going to be that good anymore. Uh, and I, that's what Tom does. He takes less money. He's surrounded by more talent. That's why they win football games. I think, Tom, you know, thirty-three million dollars a year, the highest-paid player in the NFL. I would take a little bit less. I know we don't agree on that. Yeah, nah. If you want to continue that legacy of being a really good winning team, too. I'm thinking about my lose. family. You know, I'm but, home for the holidays. I need that $33 but, million. But family. when you talk about taking less from a quarterback, a guy who's always going to stay a higher than $25 million contracts, mm-hmm. it's a little different. When you talk about a corner taking less, taking his 10 as, a, as opposed to the 8 or 9, you know, that to me, okay, that's my money. I got to make sure my family's straight. But 25 versus 33? Come on, man. You live enough on the money floor. is enough money. Stay on the floor. I'm on the ceiling. Uh, uh, you ain't going to talk about what I can't get. I'm but, reaching for the I'm star. Just you know. uh, 